guys remember when I made a table? <laughs> Photo stand for the day. Hello, it is Wednesday morning, February 28th. Leap day is tomorrow. I am taking this day as my prep day. So I have my <laughs> mini little photo set up outside because the sun's out and I've been loving using direct light lately and I just want to have fun with it. So I'm going to roll everything out on the cart out there. It's only just a handful of things, so it shouldn't take me maybe 20 minutes and then edit all of that and put it into square and just make sure everything in there, the quantities are right, prices are accurate, and then finish making any additional signs that I will need for the table. I do have to go to my pop-up shop. They open in an hour, and I'm hopefully going to go steal a couple of products from there for this. And I also hope that <laughs> stuff has sold there because I haven't been selling as much since I've raised my prices. Prices. My prices fingers crossed there were some sales this month because that would be nice and lastly I launched my t-shirts on Instagram this morning and I've had a few people buy some which is so sweet and yeah if you want one go get one I think it will be a good day and I know that because my husband and I went to Trader Joe's at like 8 a.m and there was nobody there there was one aisle, no, there were multiple aisles that we went into, which there's only like five aisles there, but we were the only ones in the aisle. So that felt like a good little start to the day. And So I actually have like 42 pieces. Oh my God. I have been looking for this freaking lens cap for days and it's sitting there in between two cups. Anyways, I have about 42 pieces here. I might just go take a couple of things from my pop-up shop. I think I'm also gonna have a sale bin because there are a few things at the pop-up shop that I've just been there since I got it in September and they haven't sold. So, or they're just like one-offs because their partner sold, etc. But I figured I could put those in a little sale bin and have that in my booth this weekend as well. Cause everybody loves a steal and a deal and I love giving steals and deals. So let's go to the shop. scoop back so it's not so close in my face i have spent the morning getting ready for the market i've been filling up my bins with all the pieces i plan to take i have all of the photos and prices in square today we're going to the beach actually to where i'm having the market on saturday we just ended up having plans that 
for the same weekend as this. I almost thought about staying there just the whole weekend, but that felt a little extra. <laughs> so I'm just gonna drive back tomorrow and stay over and do the market and come back, like I said. So yeah, I'm just gonna, <sighs> You ever just have such real dreams that it feels so real the whole time and then you wake up and you're like, oh, that wasn't real crazy <laughs> it makes me think that i'm not actually sleeping well because i'm like this is real this is real this is real um and it's not so i'm very tired today but i am glad that it's a day off and i'm just gonna tidy this place up so that tomorrow when i get back in here i can come to a clear space or at least organized of what's going what's not going and have everything in their proper place. I'm feeling good so far. It's so hard to tell. <laughs> Whoa, so rude, Jamie. It's so hard to tell how a new market will go. So we're just like going on a whim and we'll see what happens. Do you like my new t-shirt? I do. <laughs> And I leave you with that. Oh my god, it's leap day. Happy leap day. <coughs> Amazing. We made it to a l another leap year. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>
there's four and they each weigh five pounds so I'm just gonna put them diagonally the eight that I have on two different legs and it will be fine it was just I don't know it's so hard for me to like invest in some things and especially in moments where like I make money in waves really so it's always challenging to like keep spending money when like in the moment I don't have money coming in even though like I'm going to this weekend in the next month and all of those things so that is hard for me I am frugal to my core and it to a fault almost <laughs> so yeah that was just a little like I'm probably not the best business person I could be yet but I'm getting there I bought the weights so that's one step closer to figuring out how to properly invest in my business and it they weren't that expensive that's why I was like so silly <laughs> probably just see you tomorrow bright and early actually not bright but definitely early <laughs> Hello, happy Sunday. I am tired. I still need to, <laughs> to put everything away, but that's okay. The time will come for that. I had quite the weekend. It was so long of a day yesterday and I probably won't feel recovered till tomorrow. And that is <laughs> par for the market course. I think that every time I do a market, I'm like, man, yeah, this is really a lot. It is not for the faint of heart. You really have to commit to your setup, doing all the things, getting everything ready, and then being on for hours on end. And that is really hard for me. I spend a lot of time alone. And I think, yeah, I just had to like, turn it on and be ready and I don't think I mentally prepared for how much socializing I was going to have to do so now I feel hungover <laughs> and it will pass but it is here and I am exhausted so here are the pop-up things the market officially started at 8 and went till 2 probably from like 10 to 1 maybe even a little bit earlier than that there was at least a thousand people that came through yesterday for sure the food truck had a line the entire time and there was just so many people everywhere i think i made like 17 sales and i had a lot of people come up to my booth once again i think my prices are just not it for a lot of people which is totally understandable i again can't fault people for that i know my value and i have to be okay with the fact that not everyone is going to want to buy my stuff <laughs> that is just a reality that is normal and totally okay because the people that did buy my stuff were very excited very appreciative and very interested in it and wanted to know if i sold online so i got a lot of instagram followers people who are interested in keeping up with me which was really great since that is like pretty much the main way that i update people on like sales and markets and things. I think I went through my same phases that I do every market of being like, oh gosh, like I'm not making as much as I want to or would be nice to, but then somebody walks up and is like very excited and I have a good interaction and it's great. And then there are like interactions where yet again, another seven year old child is like, why is this mug five, five dollars? $45 like that's crazy it's just a mug and that is fine even if they left and didn't buy anything I was like well they at least interacted with my product I could see what they liked what they didn't what they were drawn to it's honestly just a whole like research moment really a lot of people loved the green and honestly just loved my whole like color palette which is very comforting because I feel like I finally landed on a batch of things that uh, a batch of colors that I'm really pleased with and want to just like keep as my vibe. I learned a lot like that and I think that is just one of the things that comes with markets is 
being open to receiving feedback like immediately and right in front of you is <laughs> not an easy thing to do, but I did it <laughs> and I'm on the other side. And for any of the parts that like weren't fun, there were still great parts. I had some friends come up that I wasn't expecting to see and they came towards the end and helped me tear down and got me lunch and that was so sweet. I can't handle it. And even got to meet some people who had seen me at the last pop-up that I did. It was here and so to see them there and they like made the connection and ended up getting a couple of things. And yeah, that was cool because it's not close to here and it was kind of nice to like, I don't know, even though they're not a familiar face, but have them recognize me in this whole different environment. And I'm glad that I did it, glad I was able to stay over because I don't think I could have functioned if I woke up and drove to be there to set up at 6 a.m. It was literally pitch black during setup. I had a headlamp on that my friend gave me. And yeah, I could not figure out my layout, but once I did, it was good. And I just really only needed one table, but brought two. So having all that dead space was really throwing me and it took me a while to land on a good setup. And I even got to leave some pieces there so that they could sell them in their surf shop, which was a nice little restock moment. They are hosting this market every month, but I don't think that it would make the most sense for me to do that just because there's, I already have like a few going on this month and there's just so much around here that I'm still trying to dip my toes into that are so much more convenient. That's my market experience, my travel for market experience. And I think just the main takeaway is like, yeah, it's not a one day event. It became like a two day event for me. And it would have to, I would just have to be like up for it and ready to go to commit to another one. If I lived there, I would totally be a part of that every month and just like kind of channel it like a farmer's market energy, just the same people were doing it. And yeah, cause there was definitely a lot of people and the restaurant is always busy regardless. So it's a great way to meet new clients, see old ones and clients, customers, uh, and see old ones and make new connections in that way. But I'm going to focus on doing that around here. And I'm so glad I went for it and tried and now I'm tired and today is the day of rest. <laughs> so I'm going to do just that after I unpack everything so that I can have my living room back. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thanks for coming along on yet another pop-up journey. I do have one in two weeks, so you'll probably see some of that here soon. I'm going to attempt to get back to throwing so I can add a couple of things to my bisque batch for that next week. That is my, my plan. That is my hope. That is all. I wish you all the best if you're in the midst of market season, if that is what you do, or really, I wish you all the best in whatever you're doing. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.